Hey, Scott from Aristocop.com here. And Seth from TobaccoAdvent.com. Together along with you, the three of us, we are Mark Woodman's Breakfast Club, and welcome to day five of Tobacco Advent 2020. Good morning, boy. Good morning, Homer. How are you? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing great. So we've got a uh, cornament from the Tobacco Advent tree that we are ready to smoke with what? Uh, this is, so this is um, Wheel of Piper 2. This is part of second right. tobacco of three in the Vizier's Quest. Second is Sutliff's Christmas Spice, an aromatic of Virginia, Burley, and Black Cavendish with vanilla, caramel, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Mmm. That's it. Okay. We read the rest of the letter a couple days ago. Um, again, this is uh, will be three blends that we'll be smoking. All right. And so this this uh, is definitely a departure from the Frog Morton cellar, I suspect. Um, so that sounds oh, a lot that a lot more great. in your wheelhouse. <laughs> that smells great. No, I like where he's going with this. Yeah. Yes, I do. All right, good. It's a, like a progressive dinner, but with pipe tobacco. <laughs> That's a great idea. Actually. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah. That's sweet. No, that's not. What? What? Oh, I disassembled the pipe. <laughs> Thank you uh, again to Kent. Kent and to everybody else who has sent in tobacco for this year's tobacco advent. Back to you just dropped? Yeah, I'm working on it. That's mine. All right. Sometimes my hands don't work good. Sometimes neither does my mouth. <laughs> Words are hard. Yeah. Now, I always have a hard time with the tobacco advent um, because uh, it's just awkward. You don't want to waste tobacco, right? Especially especially tobacco that's been so generously donated. M much of it is is rare, or for us, of course, hard to come by. Um, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, and so, but it's hard to light like a half full pipe. And, and so, uh, but I know that these videos often are too short to really get through a full pipe well. It's always a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Remember, the, didn't we use one of the really small pipes one year for that reason? I mean, I know we used the Morgan Nose Warmer. Oh, that's right. We used the um... Pony Express. No, it was the shortstop. The shortstop, I think, was maybe the original. I think it might be. Do I have a shortstop? Um, and you know what? I would whip out a shortstop whenever we had a tobacco that I thought was going to just be mm -hmm. uh, heck on. My pipe. Yeah, there's a shortstop. I don't think we use that. I know, but I, I've, for I've, a full tobacco ad. Maybe not, but I've I've smoked from <laughs> that because it was it was almost always uh, the nose warmer until we we switched. Mm -hmm. All right. So the question for today is: In now yeah, we'll do that one. We'll do that one next. <laughs> Um, what purchase purchase of one hundred dollars or less most positively impacted you in the last year? And I think we get a question like this almost every year, but of course, it being uh, restricted to a year, um, the answer should be new every year. It's weird, right, well, weird. That's fine. I, I'm gonna let you go first because I, I have not thought of an answer to this one yet. It's in my pocket too. My AirPods. A hundred dollars or less? Somebody fudged I, a little. I, I got a deal. Would you believe? Would you <laughs> so, believe? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would agree. Okay, so tell the people, tell the fine people about how those have improved your life, and then think of a hundred dollar one. <laughs> well, I think of hundred dollars. Under hundred dollars. No, because I, I agree. I I agree. For the money, uh, my my AirPods are on the short list of items that if they broke or were lost yeah. or were stolen, I would have no hesitation about buying a replacement. Agree. 
used hours every day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's exactly right. I was looking for a way to improve the sound quality of my videos on the My Growth Rings channel. I had a lapel mic and it was a problem because of the cord. And in fact, there was a point where I had yanked and disconnected the cord and the rest of the video was recorded with horrible sound mm. straight from the phone. I had another Bluetooth headset that was it sounded great when I listened to th through it, but did not sound great for recording. The mic on it wasn't very good. And boy recommended getting the AirPods. And it's like, gosh, do I really want to spend that kind of money on what to me is kind of a novelty? Because when I'm listening, and just earbuds. When I'm listening to music, I just plug them in, and I got you know wired e earbuds. And why would I spend the money? Oh my gosh, I've loved them. I've absolutely loved them. And what I didn't realize until you started showing them to me was I didn't know the case was a battery mm -hmm. that you charge the case. The mm -hmm. case in turn charges the AirPods. And that if you're in the middle of a webinar or something and you, you get a sound telling you that you're about 20 minutes out from losing power, yep. and then you get another one telling you you're about 10 minutes out, you can pop one of the earbuds out, stick it in the case, and in five minutes, it's like 80% charged. And you can pop that one out and stick the other one in the case. And so I use them now for all of my webinars. The sound quality is great. They have noise canceling in them, which the wired earbuds do not have noise canceling. Cancel. Those don't have active, but they're passive. They're better. They're, but they are better. And, and like I've noticed there are times where if I cough. The AirPod Pros have active noise if I If I cough. Yeah. The next thing I say, I better I better wait a moment because it does that. And then also, if I'm doing a webinar from the back porch and a, a fire truck or something goes by, I think, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that you know you're hearing that tractor. Mm -hmm. And I've had people say I I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, Maybe on the microphone, the microphone, the microphone has noise canceling. That's what I'm talking I, I'm about. I'm sorry, I thought you meant the no, not for the, the music, not yeah. for listening for, for my voice. Because that's a big feature of the I, the, the, the AirPods Pro. Yeah, is they have active noise canceling in fact, ears. But yeah, I, I did the very first bandsaw video I did with them in. I had somebody comment, "How did you get your bandsaw to run so quietly?" <laughs> and that it was the sound mm -hmm. was being muted uh, mm -hmm. through the microphone built in. So. Uh, right now, this, this is the I got the generation two, which was the last generation before the most recent ones. The newer ones are a little bit shorter, and they have a silicone thing on the end that's supposed to make them stick in your ear better if you're active with them. Um, they were just too expensive for me. But if if I were to lose these or or need to replace them, without hesitation, I go ahead and spend the extra money. Um, there have been occasions where they'll fall out of my ear when I'm doing something. And uh, that'd be great if they didn't, but that's, that's, that really truly has improved my life in the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So re recondition, you could probably pick them up for a hundred bucks. Sure. I'll, I'll allow it. And right now they're used, so they're equivalent to a recondition. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no, I am in, in total and absolute agreement um, for, for webinars, but for it, just about everything. Just about everything. Uh, I, uh, you know, I have a thirty-minute commute to work. I have a mount on my my dashboard for my phone. I could listen to audiobooks and, and podcasts through that. I don't. I listen in, in the earbuds. I don't find they restrict my ability to hear, especially with spoken word, to hear outside noises at all. So I wear them. I do find do find every now and then I, I have this funny moment, um, like if I'm grocery shopping or if I'm like walking to the grocery store and I want to turn the music off or down or something. I have this moment where I'm thinking, okay, I've got to pull out my phone and turn it off and because there's no way that Siri is going to be able to hear me. Um, and then I remember, oh, duh, Siri, uh, the volume for the microphone isn't what the volume in my ear is. And so I can just speak. And so you can just say, you know, uh, Siri, pause, whatever, and it will pause the music. I don't want to uh, cut off our recording right now, um, but it will pause the music. So I'm, I'm, I'm with you there 100%. Um, for me, you know, this is stupid. This, uh, the thing that, the thing I think of right now that probably has had the biggest impact, at least on my most immediate, um, uh, quality of life, it's really dumb. It's really dumb. Um, as I've been growing my, my beard, I have found that my, uh, the mask that I have, have had, um, just is super annoying to wear. And, and I've looked, I know they make all different types of masks. I have had, 
uh, some that have been custom made. My brother-in-law made one for me, but it was a little bit too tight. This is the one I found that's most comfortable for taking on and taking off. Um, but you know, putting this on very, very quickly, my beard will start to push it up and then I'm dealing with this situation. And then when that happens, it starts to ride up my nose and starts poking me in my eyeballs. It has become very uncomfortable to the point where many times I'm wearing them upside down, which is only slightly better. I've got the flat top here and this is kind of grasping my chin, but not really. And for some unknown reason, totally unrelated to to everything going on in the world, I I was watch I was watching, if you haven't watched Wrangler Star, I was watching a Wrangler Star video, and he was talking about he was talking about the usefulness and the um, just the many, many times he has found it come in handy to carry a handkerchief. And so I don't know why I went out and bought, I think they were a dollar a piece, handkerchiefs from Walmart. So this, this is probably not the highest of high qualities. It's not Levi, it's, you know, Chinese brand, whatever. Um, it is, you know, when you unfold it all the way, it's, it, it appears it's to be pretty thin. So pretty it's a thin. face covering. No. Uh, it, it was, I Filter. think it was sold as a bandana, right. maybe. Um, but I mean, you know, for me, um, I wear button down shirts tucked in. If I have to clean my glasses, it's super annoying because nothing I wear is easy to clean my glasses. Um, so one, having this has, has improved that quality of life immediately. It doesn't take up any space in my pocket. I don't notice, notice that it's there in my pocket. I carry it in my pocket all the time now. Um, there have been a number of times where I've been able to use it to clean something. Um, and then more recently, and this is only in the last couple of weeks, have I switched to this in, on most occasions as my, as my face covering when I need it to be something a little bit more persistent, right? So if I'm going to have to wear a face covering for, you know, half an hour or an hour, if I'm at work or from someplace where I've got to have it, I'll just tie this off. And it is much more comfortable because it's not dealing with the, the beard. In fact, it kind of covers it. Um, you can adjust it real easily. It has been, it has been a huge, stupid quality of life improvement since I started <laughs> using it that way um, for a dollar. I mean, that is on the things in terms of in terms of improvement to dollar spent. I so can't on think of average, anything. We're, we're now less than a hundred dollars. A hundred, yeah, uh, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right. I, I went down went down the rabbit hole of of handkerchiefs. There are is a huge uh, community of like bespoke fancy schmancy handkerchiefs that you can get so this is this is one this is gonzo handkerchief and this is the back side this is a microfiber and i use this um keep this with my ipad so i can always clean it which is nice um this is the uh on the other side is the marauders map from harry potter don't demonetize us please um and uh you know this is this is nice but it's too small to really be practical um, and with the microfiber, you wouldn't want to use it to clean up. You wouldn't want this to get too dirty. Um, and so this was the first one I bought before I just went to Walmart and got something cheap. You know, if we were doing our weekly episodes, we would be talking about demonetization and monetization of what's happening so much. with YouTube right now. So much. We may we may end up just doing one of those just anyway. <laughs> um, it'd be a surprise episode. But yeah, other than that, uh, there was one other thing I thought about. I had to replace my torch for my um, weed burner, my sous vide weed burner, um, which if you cook sous vide, you have to sear your meat in some way. Um, I do that with a propane weed burner torch out on a, a grill. And so you can get a very quick sear, which is what you want. You want just the outsides of the meat to cook because the insides have been cooked to the perfect internal temperature and using the weed burner does it quickly. And I had to replace mine I spent like four extra dollars on my replacement to get one with a um, ignition on it. And that is such a stupid quality of life upgrade <laughs> that is just so nice to not have to worry about bringing a lighter or bringing something outside with me. Boy, boy watched that. me on Thanksgiving night light my weed burner because our turkey, while it was done perfectly in the oven, um, it wasn't browned enough. And so we took it out to the backyard and, and using my weed burner, um, brown the skin on it and I'm lighting it with my lighter. Propane and is just a <laughs> and you're like just trying to get as close as he can without his hand catching on fire. Yeah. I was like, man, I, yeah, he was bragging about his uh, his igniter. I, I, it's stupid 
but it has improved my life. So, all right, fun, fun question. We look forward to seeing your answer in the comments below. Shoot a video if you're interested. Uh, you know, we, we've mentioned this now every day so far, but uh, what a great prompt for you if you're trying to think of things to say on your channel. Join us this month for Tobacco Advent and send us a, a video response. Just shoot your video. Show us. Yeah. Show us your, your best under $100 quality of life. Hey, we just showed ours, didn't we? That's right. Both of us. How, how is that possible? We both happen to have our things. That's cool. That we would show off. Really, we're just not creative enough to think outside of this <laughs> What's in our pocket? two-foot bubble. <laughs> All right. Hey, great. Thanks for joining us again, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So make it a great day. See ya. I would smoke this tobacco again. <laughs> would you smoke this tobacco again? I continue to smoke this tobacco even though we thought the video was over. I look forward to seeing what happens on the third iteration of this. All right, me too. Thank you, Wheel and Piper 2, for the tobacco.